Hello, welcome back Sagittarius. This is Robin at Robin's Realm Readings. I'm here to bring you a serenity reading uh, and a goddess or guidance oracle card to kind of tap into your um, healing natures, your motherly natures. It could be male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, these are just archetypes. And Sagittarius, um, I'm hoping that the end of the month is good for you. I know that some of you have been having issues with other fire signs. Um, so be it. This is about you. I'm bringing you a serenity reading. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I love you very much. I want to tell you that first. And let me bring your, your goddess card and see what we get. Predominant energies for you. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you don't know your placements in your house, your chart, and you want to know, I always say go to astrotheme.com, A-S-T-R-O-T-H-E-M-E.com, and then go look. Find yourself. When you pull up your chart, you can look at all, every single one of the elements and every single one of the houses and see where you're at. If you do know all this, that's good. Then you'll be able to follow along with me without any problem. Um, and so, hey, let me pull you a goddess card. Sagittarius, you got Kuan Yin. Compassion. Remember, this is a serenity reading, and it's a general reading. I mean, there are bits and pieces of this that may not apply to you, but this may apply to every one of you. Release judgments about yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, and others. And focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Wow. Y'all are known to be very social anyway. And friendly, friendly uh, people. So there isn't any reason why you should not be able to. What? Quad, first, first let me read to you who Kuan Yin is. So you know, if you don't know. Kuan Yin, the Eastern goddess Kuan Yin, hears all prayers and is the essence of purity, nurturing love, and gentle power. Kuan Yin is a bodhisattva, meaning that she's eligible for Buddhahood. Yet, she's vowed to stay near earth until all beings are enlightened. This youthful and beautiful goddess helps us feel compassion and mercy toward ourselves and others. She's also a protectress of women and children. She awakens musical interests and abilities as psychic clairvoyance. Her message to you, Sagittarius, is <clears throat> gentleness is a strength behind true power. It comes from feeding yourself with nourishing words, thoughts, deeds, intentions, and all forms of food. Shield yourself from harshness by placing an intention to attract only kind and gentle life lessons and relationships. Transform harshness into gentleness by refusing to see anything but the shining light that's within each person and situation. This intention begins with your relationship with yourself. Be very gentle with yourself in all ways. Be happy, be kind, be sweet. But most of all, be true to you. Now, that's almost like guardian angel or that kind of energy. So I'm going to bring you the sun and moon tarot. They're very simple cards, but I like them. They're easy to read. They're stiff little boogers. <laughs> They're hard to Shake, shake. Okay, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Well, I'm not taking it. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. Venus. This is for the last half of May. The last two weeks in May, 2018. For Sagittarius, it says well-being, serenity. So let's see what this, the energies have to say to you. I don't know why they're being difficult. I, I'm not doing this. Let me give them another Spanking, so to speak. There you go. There you go. Now let's do this one more time. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, for Serenity, State of Mind, Peace, 
what's going on in their environment, what's around them, and what they can do to heal themselves. Okay. All right, Saggies, here we go. Foundation of your reading, what's covering you, your healing, the external energy, the internal, and the revelation. The card that is representing your crowning you is the Empress card. The Empress of number three card. This is nature, nurture, mothering, birthing new ideas, bringing forth healing, wholeness to the to your situation, to your to your your life. And so I'm going to put her up here. She's a major arcana, and believe me, that's amazing. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Foundation of your peace is you have decided. This is a five of wands. It's a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Only way you're going to find your, you know this now, it's foundation. This is walking away from strife. This is a walking away from people that want to give you trouble. People always have words for you. Or people are always giving you advice. It's not what you need. Um, this is walking away from it. This is a very first step to feeling good. Get away from the source of your problem. Find a way to get away. What's crossing you is the universe. So you, this is definitely looks like you may have to be ending something and starting something new. The world card. <clears throat> the portal of the world card, you go through the portal, it's going to happen. There's no, no two ways about it. You're going to end something and start something new. Internally, the suggestion for you internally is to... Bring a gentle, universal kindness and love to the world. Bring a newness, the Empress. This King of Cups is no player. Notice he's on a horse, Sagittarius. Notice that? He listened, and the horse is white. His intentions are pure. He's in the water, he's splashing around in the water, which says that he has just so much fun in him and love and laughter. This is you. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Externally, the best way for you to really go about this, I think, is to listen to readings. I mean, you know, the high priestess is inner it's like um, intuitive, intuition, um, psychic knowledge, um, empathic energy, seeking advice, seeking balanced advice, um, trusting that. She is the energy of... <clears throat> she comes directly after the magician and the tarot and directly before the, uh, the Empress. And I believe that she's like spiritual advice, you know, even for the Emperor and Empress, magician as well. And they use what she has. They go to her for insight. And that's you. I want to tell you something. I've said this before in your readings. You know, Sagittarians don't always believe this. But they have incredible psychic abilities. If they choose to accept that, if they choose to use it, and if it doesn't confound them. And it's being confirmed here. You have great psychic abilities. You want them? Use them. Trust yourself. Have confidence. Okay? And be gentle on yourself and gentle on others. Your uh, internal card is... Okay, again, here's the deal. Five of Swords is a battle of words, okay? Battle of words or battle of ideas or someone's in your space calling out accusations or something. But the Five of Swords is in reverse. You've absolutely, you're done. You're done with this crap. You're going to bring more love. You're going to end this. Yeah. Conflict. 
You're going to end a conflict by being spiritual, by being metaphysical, by making a change, by being gentle and seeing the best in every man, everyone. I ended a relationship recently. Well, I didn't end it. I recreated it. But the way that I recreated it was by having compassion on the person that I thought was hurting me. And it was all mental, really, because he wasn't really meaning to hurt me. He just didn't know what I wanted. And so I was able to show great love and compassion and save the beloved friendship because of that and also to step into my own power and do this, do what I'm doing for you, offering love gifts for the whole world and not just myself. Just a little heads up. So whatever this conflict is, you guys are very, very aware of it. And you're done. You're done, done, done. Now, let's see what your uh, revelation is. Six of coins. I'm not going to read it in a reverse. I'm going to read this one upright. This is success. You have come to a place to know that in order to give, to receive, you must give. Universal laws are in play in your, your life right now. In order to receive, you must give. You have to put it out there. The universe has to see you in action, taking care of yourself, letting go, respecting people, making the necessary changes. I'm no drama mama, bye. I don't do that. I'm spiritual. I'm, I'm a higher mind, you know? Um, higher mind and you got a beautiful heart, you guys. You're bringing this love. Bring it to yourself first, okay? This is your reading for the end of May, Sagittarius. And I want to tell you that I love you. And that I know that every one of us has these kind of things happen sometime or another. And when this does come up, be gentle and kind and have compassion. First on yourself. And then on others. Nothing high-minded about that. It's all spiritual. So with that, if you like my reading and would you like to have some further information or insight into your own personal situation, I'm right here. I'm happy to help you. Contact me, please, at robinsrealmreadings at gmail.com. And I will help you. With that, I leave you the serenity reading for the end of May, last two weeks of May. And I'll see you in June. Blessings. From Robin's Realm, beautiful Sagittarians. Bye.